everybody, and welcome back to some more wonderful Wobulus Project Zomboid. I did read all of your comments that you have posted, and god, you guys are super excited to see Zomboid back, and I'm happy to see that as well. I think one of the suggestions I'm going to take into account, um, and the most important one, I do believe, is the suggestion that I should move to a different cell. Um, since I am running Ring God's huge, like, map cell modder thing, I am, I think it's smart, I think it's good, because it's going to show off a new area that I don't particularly know very well, and it's going to provide a level of challenge to me, because I don't know where everything is going to be, scavenging is going to be difficult, so what I'm going to end up doing is just taking a handful of the supplies, food and whatnot, just enough that I can carry, basically carry whatever I can, and move on to another cell, and that's going to be... This this video is going to be setting up a new home in a new area that I don't know. But we are going to have to wait just a little bit. We're going to have to give a... I want to do it in the morning, so I don't want my character to be kind of... Uh, yeah, I want to make sure we're doing it early morning. And uh, that's when we'll, we'll move on. So it is 5 in the morning. Probably a good time to move out. I don't think I'm going to take these potatoes with me. Um, let's grab a few of... Let's just grab all of our snacks. We'll actually eat the pie... Uh, for breakfast, and that helped a little bit. Let's head downstairs, grab all the supplies that we can, and uh, then we'll wait till about seven or eight when the sunlight's out, and we can move on. And from there, we can uh, prepare ourselves. Now, I think the most important stuff is going to be. Oh wow! All right. Uh, most important stuff is going to be our uh, non-perishables. So we still have a plenty, plenty, plenty of of space here. Let's take bread. All the fruits and cheese and pies. Basically stuff that's going to take a little bit longer to go bad. Um, this milk is good. Hamburger bun. I will take a couple of the steaks as well. Check out our carrying capacity. We've still got plenty of room. Peas, veggies, uh, pills that I put in there for some reason. Um, there we go. Actually, we might be able to take... As long as I feed myself, we should be okay. So let's let's just fast forward time a little bit. And let's get out of here. Now that means I did kind of waste a lot of wood on um, boarding up, but such is life. Moving on to a new cell I really think is probably the best option, and I do like that suggestion a whole lot. So we're going to end up doing that. I think I know how to get to one of the cells, so that's what I'm going to end up trying to do uh, this episode. Like I said, getting there safely and not dying is going to be key. And then trying to find someplace safe to kind of buckle down is going to be the next big challenge for us uh, to not die. And that is what this game is all about. So let's uh, make sure we're not completely bored here. Just loading up this apartment building apparently. There we go. Get that out of our sights. I hear some zombies banging on windows. Alright, so like I said, the, the key to our travel here is going to be keeping ourselves well fed. Um, just because our carrying capacity is going to jump up every time we don't. And I know, whoa, there's a zombie over there. Jesus, scared me a little bit. But we'll be okay. Um, we do have a, a weapon. We do have a katana that we can use if we absolutely have to. But I don't think we're going to have to. Don't want to keep, I, you know, running is something just, I, I'm kind of toggling on and off here. Ah, sticky keys, no. Ah, crap, sticky keys, hang on. I got to fix this. All right, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. I hit the sticky keys a little too much, and that caused my guy to start walking by himself. And that was a problem, so I gotta be careful. Uh, we did lose food from restarting there, so let's just throw some more food in our stomach. And let's move on. We'll try not to run too much. Did see one zombie in there. He's gonna try and get out, but eh, I'm gonna be long gone by the time he swings around. And the good thing, too, is if we absolutely need to, we can... I'm going the wrong way. Uh, we can come back to this cell uh, at some point and, uh, and just scavenge if we have to. Alright, let's... I oh, I gotta think. Which way is it? I, f uh, I think it's more left. Let's just keep going left. We gotta follow the roads, though. That's the key. Oh, my guy's shirt came off. Not that it actually helps, but it helps. Um, okay. No. See you later. Screwdriver is not necessarily useful right now. Anything in here? Alright, what we need to do, yeah, I, I know where I'm going. Okay, okay. I'm good now. Ah, these guys are fast. A couple of fast ones. Yikes! Oh god, okay. 
Try not to run if I don't have to. Just outmaneuver them. Okay, come on. A lot of blood over here, meaning this. Oh my good god. Let's, uh, get over. Oh god, this could be my death. This could be my death. Gotta eat something. And run. Over the fence. Holy crap. Alright, I'm in a little bit of pain. I'd rather not die here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on. Bob and weave. This is exactly where I need to be, though. That's the problem. Ah. Oh, I'm dead. There's no way I'm going to survive this. This is no way. Oh, god, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, oh, my god. Holy crap. All right, all right. Well, luckily, this is just the beginning. So, let's uh, move on here. And, uh, start up a new guy, I guess. Yikes, that was just bad. Uh, no. Alright, and we're gonna have the music skipping. That should fix itself in time, though. There we go. And we'll just load up. And we'll just go to a new cell ourselves. We'll just walk there by ourselves. Wow, that music is gonna be annoying. Hopefully, um, I can just... Well, uh, what I can do is I can just do audio bounce. You might not be able to... I'll just try to keep it quiet. And I like how that's what he screams is a safe haven for all. Alright. Already five zombies outside. We're gonna swing in here, grab mm, basically quick supplies and get out. We're gonna head to the new cell. Actually, we're in a good spot to head to the new cell, which is good. Um, all the food we can potentially carry. The zombie out there hopefully doesn't see us. Just stay quiet and we should be okay. I'm gonna grab this tissue. I don't think tissues actually matter yet. I mean, kitchen knife is gonna be something. Quick scavenge of the area and we should be able to hopefully find some useful stuff. I'm gonna take that mug. I'm gonna fill it with water. Same with that bowl. Right, let's just fill these with water real quick. Um, my water bottle as well. Okay, we're going to put our hammer here, oh, that's shoes, hammer, okay, that's shoes as well, hammer here, fill the mug, now let's get out of here, I'm going to walk, we're not going to run, we're going to, hopefully they won't see us, and if they do, we can just escape them, um, I'm going to go out the garage, oh, shh, are you kidding me, oh my good god, I'm going to swing back in here, Ow. And we were scratched. Let's head upstairs. And look for bandages. Alright, we'll take this. Bandage up. And, um, well, that was a bad start. But, hey, we should, uh, we should probably search up here as well. out of here. The banging's gonna draw them. I'll slip out the back window, I guess. A couple of sheets. A lot of magazines, which is good. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm hoping that this won't kill me. So what I can do is just swing out the back here. Oh my god, so many zombies. So many. The fact that there's so many this early on is such a pain. Alright, see you later, guys. I'm not fighting you. It ain't happening. Just keep going. We're a little hungry. We have some food, though. Eat a loaf of bread. We should be okay. We're in minor pain. Again, scratched. Not the end of the world, but dangerous. Alright, this is where we need to go. Alright, we'll try and bob and weave our way through them. Don't want to have to burn my sprint if I don't have to. A little bit. Let's just kind of get out of their general vicinity. Alright, we'll save some sprint. We can get through these guys. Spread out enough where we can get through them at the very least. Come on, come on. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, there's so much food here. Oh, sh shit. Okay. Stop running for a second. Hold our sprint. Let's keep going, and sprint a little bit past these guys. 
All right. We're coming to the area that I need to be at. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Come on. Run. Run. Good. All right. So far, so good. Head down this way. I'm pretty sure this is how I get there. If I can get there before the music kicks in, that's going to be key. And it looks like we lost them. Alright. And then if I swing out this way, I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to be. Oh, wait. This isn't a road. Oh, no. Like, yeah, this is it. Because I could just swing out through here, and this should be a new cell. All right, perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. A brand new cell. A brand new start. All right. Now, I don't know this this place through a hole in the wall, to be honest with you. I have no idea what to be what's to be found in this particular cell. Uh, a bowling alley. Okay. Maybe have some useful things in the bar area. It's also getting really late. So we should probably keep moving. Uh, looks like a restaurant. Oh, vending machines. Vending machine. Take everything in the vending machines. Absolutely everything. And we could swing in here. That door opened the wrong way, I think. But that's fine. And we'll nap on the couch. Yes. Please don't wake up to zombies eating your face. Alright, 3 in the morning, again. And we will eat... Um, piece of pie? There we go. Good enough. Speed up time. We'll see if we can get to like 8 without dying. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, exploring this new cell during the day is going to be key. We need to find a place where we can hole up. And potentially survive. Hey, a chair. Random. Here's a parking lot. Good place to have a last stand if we need it. And... Alright, we leveled up too. I'm glad you're bored. Uh, I'm really happy you're bored, dude. Glad to see it. Okay, we can jump in here if we need to. Alright, good. More vending machines. What is this, like an office? Keep banging on the, the windows. I have nothing in here. All right, we, what we're going to do here is... Well, this looks like a nice maze of, of buildings and corridors. A lot of bathrooms. Not quite sure what this is. But we could definitely lose our zombies from in here. Make our way quietly. You don't know what's going to be around the next corner. Dark. Is an upstairs. I mean, we could hole out here, but I feel like we should explore a little bit more. Don't want to kind of buckle down in the first potentially safe building I see. There's a zombie out in the courtyard. Just going to take stuff. We need a weapon of some sort. Baseball bat, anything. Well, asking you shall receive, right? We can make that a nailed one. I don't want to lock myself in. I don't know where we are, what we are. This is I, I assume this is an office building. That's my assumption. And it's huge. Whoop, whoop, actually let's go out this way. We can take these guys out pretty simply. I'm gonna send him into the flying zombie glitch. Whoop. Dead. Why can't I loot these guys? Weird. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's uh, grab this. And this. And move forward just a bit. Alright. Oh, zombie. Not a problem. I'll definitely deal with it. <laughs> Home run. 
And another one as well. Oh, don't bite me. Whoa, see you later. Hey, um, okay, bye. Alright, what do we have over here? Down he goes. But still alive. Let's get out of here. And frame rate has dropped. We're gonna fix that as soon as we're safe. Unless well, it fixes itself like it seems to be doing. Another huge building. Let's just move on. Okay. Get me out of here. Ooh. Hang on. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. A ton of beds. A furniture store, maybe? I'm assuming this is a furniture store of some sort. And I can't take that. Oh. Game's jagging her up on me. Come on. There's a way out. I gotta find it. Oh, because they're finding a way in. No zombies. No window. Perfect. But we're getting tired, so we might want to see if we can find like a couch or something. And here we go. Bed. Perfect. So we'll wait a little bit. We're going to wait for uh, my guy to be essentially exhausted, but we're going to get to the 20 hour mark first. There we go. We can sleep here. They're not going to find me. And uh, light footed, I think, is going to be the smart first upgrade here. Try to keep ourselves fast, nimble, not get caught. We are very hungry, so we'll try to fix that right now. Eat the apple. Eat a couple strawberries. Yeah, let's eat them all. Cheese? There we go. Jesus. You ate a lot this morning. That's not a good sign. Let's get out of here. So, food and uh, food now has become our primary concern. Come on. There we go. Food is absolutely our 100% primary concern, and it looks like a park? I don't know where we are. Oh god, this is terrifying. Where are we? Where can I go that's safe? If anywhere. I mean, holding up in one of these bedrooms? These What is this, like a dorm? Maybe holding up in one of these dorms is probably maybe the safest thing? This guy needs to go down if I'm going to hole up in a dorm. Are we in like a college town? If we hole up in a dorm, right, here's here's the issue. If we hole up in one of these dorms, we have a very easy access to our sleeping area. On the flip side, we could quickly actually like put a blanket over it and be pretty okay. Um, but where? Where can we get food? Where is there anything to... I mean, actually... Let's get in here. We could dive in here. I mean, we could raid the hell out of this office building if it's worth it. We got a lot of snacks. Maybe this is a college. Like, this is like a college town. Let's, um... Alright. Let's swing out here. We're gonna scavenge whatever we can find in here. If I cannot... If I can walk through the window. Oh, there's a table there. Alright. We're gonna take some painkillers and our sleeping tablets just in case. I did this one. This is one I raided, right? We have food to get us through, what, a couple of days, maybe, safely, and then we're going to have to start really worrying about what our uh, provisions are. Ooh, fridge. But no oven. Matches. We'll take all of this. Though for now, actually, this fridge is actually actually invaluable to me right now because I could save my meats here. At least temporarily. So, everything I took... The veggies and everything can stay. I'm going to keep the meats here. Um, because it's not going to be far from where I'm going to be staying. At the very least, temporarily. While we try to get everything kind of sorted. And then, more exploration, I think, is going to be necessary. I probably should go find the map to the cell and take a look at it to see what's around. But at the same time, I feel like that's doing a disservice and kind of ruining a lot of the exploration element. These medicine cabinets are random places. 
Alright, what? Alright, we've got some time to keep taking a look. Okay, another vending machine. We'll take everything in him. Uh, that guy's gonna smash the window eventually. Even if I get out of his sight, and he's gonna be hell-bent on at least getting through. Oh, and water. We desperately need to find some water. Did I fill my water bottle? I didn't, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, we have water. Good. But that's gonna be another thing, is finding water. I'm not gonna take that bat. The bat's useless. I have one. We need to find a place I can fill my water bottle, which could potentially be in the dorm area. We'll take a look. We'll swing out this window. We'll do a quick look inside this building. Oh, there's, there's a sink in each one of those dorm rooms. Perfect. That's excellent. Now, the problem, the other problem that I'm going to come across, which is why I'm making this kind of a temporary setup, I'm pretty sure, is the lack of storage. There's really nowhere for me to put anything. So I could sit here, you know, and fill up all these... Um, no. N no. There we go. I could sit here and fill up all these water bowls um, and, you know, weigh myself down and have all the things I need, but I have nowhere to stash anything, so I'm eventually I'm going to be maxed out on the supplies I can carry because I'm not going to have the ability to carry any more. And that's something I need to consider as well. Read a couple magazines, keep myself from being bored to death. Uh, nighttime is coming. Let's do a little bit more looking around in this building because you never know what you could find. Though these tight corridors are confusing. Alright, good. We'll take a sheet. We'll go, um... Mark one of these as ours, essentially. Let's just take this one. Throw the sheet over it. We have five... Oh, we have five sheets. I didn't realize. And we can just put that down. So now we can't be seen. Again, which is good. Alright, so the question is... Do I hunker here? I mean, I could store stuff over here as well, so... But my storage would not be nearly as immediate nor convenient as it would be if I had my house. We should probably turn off the light. There we go. The light is off. Alright. So not a bad start. I think uh, we are in a... Comfortable, I guess, is what I'm looking for. A comfortable uh, uh, place to stay for at least a few days. We have the provisions to kind of survive a few days. We're going to do some exploration. We're going to see what's out there. Um, and maybe have to go through the park or the woods to fan find the rest. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll continue this playthrough starting tomorrow, probably. And I will see you guys next time.